What's happening guys, Dan Devlin here, and today we're going to look at something which I think every single photographer should own, regardless of whether they are pro or consumer or, or wherever you are in your photography life. And that would be the... One, one second. That thing's so small. Okay, so... Today we're talking about one thing that every photographer should have in their kit bag, and that is the Nifty 50. Welcome back guys, and yes, today we are talking about the Nifty 50. I didn't come up with that name, somebody else did. It's a brilliant name for it. It is absolutely fantastic. I get asked a lot. I've not got very much money. I, uh, I've got a DSLR camera. I'm looking to buy another lens. What would you think I would be better off buying? This is that lens that I would say you should buy. Get this lens. Every, every photographer should have this lens in their camera bag. Every photographer. It's so inexpensive. It is so good. It's, it's a great, great, great lens. So 1.8 f-stop, uh, so it's a really fast aperture. And what do we mean by fast aperture? It's letting all that light in there, so it's great in low light situations. It's really shallow depth of field, so you get lovely blur. Um, if you guys are a fan of that nice creamy sort of blurred background behind you, this has got seven blades to it. So those circles that you get, those light circles you get, are gonna be mostly round. They're not gonna be that hexagonal shape that you get when you've got fewer blades. As you know, blades are come in, they close around to close the light out, or they open up to let the light in. Um, and the more blades you've got, the obviously the rounder the circle is that you're gonna get when you get blur behind in the background over here. This lens is a 24 to 105, it's a, a f4 at the moment, so you're not gonna get a massive amount of blur behind me here to illustrate that fact. But take my word for it, this lens is absolutely brilliant. Um, it's cheap, it's a hundred pounds or thereabouts, roughly depending on where you buy it. Um, it used to be entirely made of plastic, um, which is one of the reasons why they call it the Nifty, I think, because it was build quality was a bit ropey on it. But they've added a metal ring to the back of it, um, so now it is more robust, it is more, uh, uh, more hardware, and you can you know, toss it about a little bit, do whatever you need to do with it, um, and just bang it straight on your lens to get those great, great shots, great shots straight out. It's a, it's a prime lens, it's a prime lens for a hundred pounds, which is absolutely amazing. I don't think there is any other lens manufacturer making a lens like this for that money. It is absolutely amazing. Got autofocus and manual focus on it. They have made some adjustments to the ring on the front, which is the focus ring, what they've basically done is they've made that ring uh, slightly wider and they've pulled it back from the very edge. It was The original first version of it, of the ring was right on the very, very, very edge, which meant that you were sort of twiddling like something out of man possessed or something to try and get the focus right. Whereas this is a little bit further back, you're grabbing the body, which makes it a tiny little bit easier if you are one of these people who like to manual focus. Um, and it is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, now, one thing to, to remember is that if you're using a full frame camera, which this is what we're filming on at the moment, this is a 50 millimeter lens. So it, it, it is working exactly as it should do. If you're using a crop sensor camera, like say a D, uh, a D2, a 2000D or something like that, you're gonna get a crop of 1.6, I think it is. So this will actually end up being an 80 millimeter lens. And to illustrate that, this photo, this photo is what it would look like taken on the 50 millimeter lens, and this photo is what you would get from it on a crop sensor. So as you can see, it's cropped in, and you've lost a little bit of the edges um, and uh, a little bit of the top. And that is because it's cropped in the sense it's slightly smaller. But all in all, this will still give you amazing results. It is an absolutely fantastic, fantastic lens. Here are some shots that I just took in the garden. Um, and of the dog and some plants etc just to illustrate how great and how detailed this lens actually is it's really 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 focused 
Uh, as you can see from Molly, she is nice and crisp and clear and clean and there's a lot of bokeh at the background. Uh, then we've got a couple of shots of plants here um, and these are all lovely, lovely crisp and clear. Obviously these have been pushed through and edited. These are not just straight out of the camera. Um, so there has been some colour tweaking but the fact of the matter is that the bare bones of the uh, photograph is there, delivered by a £100 lens. Um, it is absolutely fantastic. And that's it guys, that's it. My advice for today would be get one of these if you can. It's a hundred pounds. It's You're not gonna break the budget. It's gonna make a massive, massive amount of difference to your photography. It is absolutely fantastic. See you guys next time.